Yes, don't ask me how to start this though. That's fine. <laughs> I guess it would be the typical, hey, hi, hello, <laughs> uh, I'll take over your intro now. Yes. Hello, I am Bookshib, and guest of today, mm -hmm. and this lovely art that you've been making of my character. Yes. You're, you're the owner. You're just taking yeah. over my channel now. <laughs> I am taking over now. Oh, uh, no. I am, I am here. I have a... Uh, I have asked for a beautiful commission, yes. uh, and I was not disappointed. <laughs> I am very glad you think so. <laughs> yes. Oh, my sweet boy finally got a little art. Yes. I've been struggling trying to draw it myself, so this is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, art ain't easy, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Um... Do you want to like introduce yourself, like your channel, oh. your your everything? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm in Bookshiv and <laughs> I am new upcoming on YouTube, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I'm doing this as a hobby. Uh, the next so big I star. Yeah, you and I upcoming. haven't done anything yet. <laughs> no <laughs> videos yet. Uh, but it's, it's something I've been wanting to try. And I mean... My dear friend here, I gotta, gotta say I'm a big fan of watching your <laughs> video, so <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a lot of help and tips and tricks. So yeah, what, what a little I've learned from gaining like 95 subscribers. <laughs> mm. See, uh, you're already there, you're, you're, you're almost at 100. <laughs> yeah, almost, just a few more, a few more years. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Mako today, star of the show. Yeah. Yes. My boy. Your boy. <laughs> and I don't know, do you want to like talk a little bit about him like in general first? Or do you want to jump into the character question? Yeah, no, um, I can talk a little bit. Yeah. Like a little character introduction. Yeah, just so... give him, give give them the vibe of Mako. <laughs> right. Yeah, so Mako uh, is uh, my ranger artificer. Uh, he, ha he is around... 20 years old, 170 uh, centimeters tall, uh, about 5'8 uh, feet. Um, variant human, mostly human. Uh, why variant? Well, that's for another story. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> yeah. That's so, that's uh, a secret for, for later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Marco, <laughs> he is a nobleman and comes from a family of seven. So he has two brothers and a younger sister, and then their parents. And uh, yeah, they're all nobility. But he's uh, his family has very high stature, meaning that there's a lot of expectations on him. Though everything Mako wants to do, even though he's a ranger artificer, is read books. He is living in the library. If you don't <laughs> know where he is, you find him in the library. He is not a very sociable person, um, and is very much timid and afraid of big crowds. And he's an introvert. Long he's a big short. introvert. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and he loves tea. Just tea to drink while reading his books. He's little... just like me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I based him a lot of myself. But yeah, so in in this upcoming campaign that I'm currently planning uh, or all that I'm gonna join with him your campaign yes the ranger artificer part the magic parts and stuff is uh, well this is a bit more steampunky I have taken a lot of inspiration of the Netflix series arcane hell yeah there's a character there named Victor that's been very like I really love the design and just his character arc. But yes, I, I took a lot of inspiration uh, from him. Half the Pinterest board is just Victor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> love the boy. Yes. But yeah, so due to some stuff happening in the backstory stuff, uh, yeah, one thing led to another, and he's currently trying to study up on uh, medicine and how to make artificial 
limbs and stuff to help with the medical terms. Yes. Um, so he wishes to be more like a, a researcher amongst that, ma- making and creating aids, uh, like when helping people. Yeah, I'm uh, thinking better. like almost like, like not really, but almost kind of like a doctor, cause, since it's yeah. in the medical me- medical field. Field. Yeah. Yeah. Like all he really wants to do is continue studying and uh, learning more about how things work and develop new ways to help people, making the world more accessible for those who are finding themselves in trouble. He's a good little boy. Mm. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's the little basics of him. Yeah, I guess the long short of it. Yeah, long short of it. Yes, and I got questions uh, that I used. Described as silly and obscure questions. I stole them from Tumblr. I will try to link them so that people can also answer these silly and obscure questions. And yeah. And we'll see what what type of person Mako is. <laughs> uh, so, first question. <laughs> uh, what does your character typically keep in their pocket? Ooh, uh, something that Mako always keeps close is a little pocket watch, because got to keep track of time. Uh-huh. It's easy to get lost when you're up and reading, you know? So you got to yeah. keep track of time. And then, other than that, I'd say he always carries, like, a little journal where he can mm-hmm. note. You never know when an emergency note needs to be taken. <laughs> you see something, discover something very interesting. Yeah. You got to note it down. Also, speaking of the watch, uh, I definitely imagine him having like his desk in front of like a window just to make sure that he will keep track of time in, <laughs> in like that way too. Yeah, uh, yeah. So he's not just sitting in like a dark room and suddenly like five days have passed. <laughs> no, but if that were to happen, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is, do they consider themselves an optimist, pessimist, realist, and what are they acting? Like, what are they like in actuality? Ooh, that's a very good question. It is. Um, <laughs> I'd say maybe a realist. He a knows realist. his boundaries. Like, he, he knows what he's capable of and what could be, like, assumed. Yeah. Um, like, how the world works, or is supposed to work, mm-hmm. based on uh, science and research. But then... I mean, there's a fancy fantasy world with magic. Yeah. It, it's very unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there, there's some logic to the madness, so... Yeah. How impulsive is your character? Oh, not at all. <laughs> not at uh, all. He needs to think about things at least five times before doing it. Though, when in the heat of battle, for example, he will mm-hmm. be very impulsive and do whatever he comes up with on the spot to see yeah. if it helps. Um, then then in, he'll think later. Yeah, he, he can... In When it's a stressful situation like that, then it's all all thought out the window and just <laughs> act. Uh, what's their favorite scent? Scent? Scent, like smell. Ooh, favorite smell, favorite yeah. scent. Um, I'd say maybe morning dew. Ooh. Like when the grass is that little bit of moisture like the little yeah drops out the yeah. window and like just that fresh smell oh the, the outdoors. yeah like like the vibe of like the morning do like summer yeah. mornings when it's like yeah still like watering the air and shit it's like that's so cozy yeah. Would they, would, would he, like, this, this is not a question on the sheet, but just an extension of it. Would he have a scented candle of morning dew? Ooh, if there was a thing, I think he would love to have a scented candle that smelled like it. Though oh, it would be yeah. very, like, artificial for him. So I think when it comes to candles, he's more of a lavender, like flowers, different, uh, different yeah. flowers. Because so, it's easier to put in a candle. Yeah, so I think more... That it has a defined smell that yeah. can't change depending really on where you are. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair though. And physically, does your character feel warm or do they always feel cold? Cold. Cold, always. 
uh, he he will be wearing <laughs> double layer coats if it's uh, if it's too cold. Oh. And even if it's warm, he will wear like a long sleeve. So he's always cold no matter what. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's at least semi easy to fix, with you know more yeah. layers, rather exactly. than being too warm. Yeah. Uh, what's a what's a controversial food opinion they would have? Controversial food opinion. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like, w like would he like bean some waffles or something? Oh, he's not very experimental when it comes to food. He he got safe foods. <laughs> he got safe foods <laughs> yeah. and he stays with those. Usually bread. <laughs> Different yeah. kinds of bread. I mean, um, that's a strong basis, though. Yeah. Ooh. I don't. I don't actually know this one yet. Ah, that's fair. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta think about that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, maybe having a cup of tea to your everyday meal, like yeah, tea should be either like enjoyed after you have had food, or as like um in between meals. Fika, you know? Yeah, like snack like a, time. Like a snack, yeah. yeah. During those times. Yeah. And not during an actual meal. Yeah, so like not dinner, not breakfast, yeah. not uh, lunch. I mean breakfast. Breakfast is like, the exception. Lunch and dinner, no. No. But usually his breakfast is only a cup of tea. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Next question is something that I know that at least Marco in story has thought about. Mm -hmm. um, what would they want for their funeral? Ooh. For his funeral? Yeah. Something quiet. Like, he, he doesn't really want people to mourn during a ceremony or something. No. Like, he would much rather just be placed somewhere quiet not yeah. along like not your everyday like uh, church or like graveyard he wants to be out in the woods somewhere or on a field with flowers um away from people like a final resting spot yeah like buried what? beneath a tree or something yeah like a, a place of meaning to him uh, and mm. or his family yeah but he would also be all for just his family choosing for him. Yeah. Because, I mean, once you're gone, you're gone and that's it. Yeah, I mean, he won't really take part of it. <laughs> no. Uh, why, do, why, why does he keep secrets? What's his reason, like in general, for keeping secrets? His reason is mostly to not worry other people. Mm-hmm. Like, if he were to keep a secret, uh, he would keep it just so that people wouldn't have to think too much of him or worry about him. Or potential and, or consequences. Potential consequences yeah. of the situation. Yeah. That's fair. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he wouldn't really... Like, if someone asks, maybe he would talk about it... Uh, in not too in depth, but just the basics and making it, it sound like yeah, it's it's fine. You don't really have to worry about it. It's not a big deal, mm -hmm. but it might be a huge deal. Yeah. Next one. What does your character have too much of? Uh, books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I figured. He can't travel with them. He needs to travel with some books, but he he tries to take too many with him, only to realize he's very weak. I can't yeah. carry them all. Yeah, he needs like a, a a Kindle, I think they're called, you know, the book reading tablets. Yeah. Yeah, he he, he needs the medieval version of one of those. <laughs> Magic stone with books in it. Yeah, exactly. So they can continue to read on the road and bring like at least a few books with him without yeah. breaking his back. Uh what what never gets old? Uh, for your character, like something they can't get enough of. Reading. Yeah, of course. 
<laughs> it's just the same um, answer over and over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, a simple but, uh, man. He's a very simple man. Um, I'd say reading and tinkering, like creating things. Yeah. I imagine his magic when it comes to the artificial uh, artificial part is that yeah. he can, in the air around him, only by his eyes see it though, but uh, make like blueprints and draw them out with his fingers um, to try and make sketches. And then after making that, for himself in his own mind seeing that in the sky around him then being able to put it on paper yeah people might think it's insane if they see that but <laughs> <laughs> i mean what what the indie character isn't insane <laughs> uh, what do they want to leave behind memories like something he would like to keep uh, like all his research and yeah. that it has indeed been able to help people yeah like his legacy would be all the tools and all the uh, help uh, mm. aid, uh, objects and things that otherwise wasn't a thing mm -hmm. that he created and yeah. the proof that it has helped and continues to help yeah. For many years to come. Yeah, leave a, leave a big footprint in the medical field at least. Yeah. Yeah. How has your character mental's mental health been recently to the start of the campaign? We'll, we'll say oh, as like I, the goalpost. From the get go, like this. Yeah. I would say that his current mental state is stable. Uh, more on the neutral side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something along those lines. But yeah, those were good. all the questions. Very good. Yeah, and we've been sitting here for almost an hour now. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been 52 minutes. Oh, you have a lot to go through and edit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, do you, do you want to give yourself an outro? Say goodbye to the people? Uh, goodbye, people. <laughs> you 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 find me uh, under I guess in the info down below. Yeah, description. Uh, I have I, I'm I'm Bookshiv, and I have been here. Yes, <laughs> thanks you for sure have. thanks for having me. And um, I'll I'll make sure to link you. We'll see if I make videos soon or not. We'll see. <laughs> it's it's a hobby. We'll it, it will. Be what it be. Yeah, but I, 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 I hope you upload one soon. So. Yeah. You better. No. Probably a game, <laughs> some game or something. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, yeah. why, why not?